Good morning guys. Happy last day of June. It is crazy. I feel like this month flew by. Does anybody else? I mean, this year is flying by. It's almost the seventh month of it. But um, <clears throat> just kind of a kind of a different vlog today. More of just me expressing my thoughts and emotions, which I already have been doing in some vlogs previous. But I'm on my phone because it's hard for me to use my computer right now because our house heats up during the day. Like yesterday, it got to 81 in here. <clears throat> my computer already has an overheating issue barring a house that's not overheating it so um it's just better for me to use my phone but hopefully these really really hot days will stop soon and it can just be like normal florida heat and not definitely florida heat <laughs> um <clears throat> but yeah so i guess kind of a continuation of yesterday's vlog um you guys can go back and watch that if you know but i'll also just kind of recap uh when I had my regular a regular appointment in February, they found a lump, <clears throat> and um, it was kind of like a don't worry about it unless you feel like getting bigger kind of thing, and it did, so then I had the ultrasound to check it yesterday, and <clears throat> my hope was that it was going to turn out to be something like a cyst, um, that'd just be like, okay, just forget about it, or something that they could say was like, 100% benign and just worried, you know, forget about it. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, neither of those two things happened. Now, the good news for me is I did hear the words most likely benign, which is comforting to an extent. Um, but she's like, because of the size of it, I think it'd be wise to do a biopsy. <clears throat> so that's kind of where I was left off yesterday. And I think I had a million and one questions in my head. I went from that appointment from trying to get answers to having more questions than answers after the appointment. <clears throat> the only thing we know for sure is it's not a cyst. It is a solid mass. Um, so that's where it kind of left off. And then I called last yesterday evening to try to schedule that. They called me back this morning. I can't go to the hospital near here because I didn't have any availability soon. So I have to go to a hospital in Clearwater, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> and so the biopsy is scheduled for July 13th, and, um, I have a lot of feelings about this whole thing, um, one, because the obvious, just like, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, one, just the obvious, like, uh, you know, I want to 100% know that nothing is harmful in there, and the other part of it is just, the, the biopsy itself, the procedure for it, sounds horrific, so I'm terrified of that. Um, <clears throat> and so I kind of just, like, broke down last night um, and had a very long night where I didn't sleep much. But then I woke up this morning, and I'm like, okay, so this thing is two weeks out, two weeks from today. Um, and there's things that are out of my control at this point um <clears throat> it's kind of like last year with the blood sugar stuff um it was out of my control it is what it, it was what it was and while that didn't make it any easier to accept at the time it also was like there's literally nothing i can do about this but treat when i go low and that's about it <clears throat> and here i am a year later and it's okay it's it's fine it is life um, so here I am a year later dealing with this next thing and, <clears throat> you know, I've been through a lot of health stuff before, the broken ankle, the obvious CF, the, the reactive hypoglycemia. So this is just another kind of little hurdle. Um, but what I want for myself in the next two weeks is to keep living life. Don't let, there's going to be some fear. There's going to be some anxiety. That's just a given, but don't let what's coming and what may come distract from right now <clears throat> you know i want to enjoy the fourth of july i want to um have fun i want to just you know so it's like while this is coming i don't want to i will not stop living life i will keep enjoying my days to the best i can and when it comes to july 13th We'll do it. It's going to be, it is terrifying, but at the end of the day, it's going to be like 20 minutes. 
and it'll be over. <clears throat> and then I read like a one or two day to re recovery time. And then within three to four days, I'll get the results. And then it'll just, it'll be over. And then it'll be what it is. And I have a very strong feeling it's not going to be anything cancerous, but it's still a little nerve wracking. Um, my age is on my side, but, um, so for the next two weeks, I'm going to try and put it out of my mind as much as I can. I'm going to keep living life and, uh, we'll deal with it when we need to. And until then, we'll just keep on keeping on because, uh, you know, with CF and everything, my life is pretty much just one big medical event, but I can't let just like I can't let CF stop me from living my life, just like I can't let my dysfunctional pancreas stop me from living my life. Um, I can't let the fear of the unknown and the fear of the known stop me from living my life. So we are gonna take each day as it comes. We are gonna tell ourselves that nothing is happening within the next 13 days. Literally, there's nothing to be afraid of within the next 13 days. And, uh, Keep overriding that anxiety brain um, and then we'll just we'll do what has to be done so that's where I'm at today which is a lot better than where I was at yesterday where I was pretty much crying slash freaking out most of the day um, if my mind was all doom and gloom <laughs> um, but for now I'm just resting because I'm tired uh, it's also hot in the house so I'm hydrating and uh, maybe I'll do a little puzzle later um can't really play my wolf game <clears throat> again because i can't really use my computer right now i can use my other computers maybe i could play like an Nancy drew or something but my mag tends to overheat um and we will uh we'll do this so that's my thoughts that's my ramble and i will see you guys tomorrow good night